I'm Carissa and uh, I'm a nursing student at York University. Today we're going to go over the pathophysiology of diabetes type 1. So diabetes type 1 is primarily an autoimmune disease. So what that means is that it's a disease in which the body attacks itself. Sometimes it can be a non-autoimmune disease, but the pathophysiology behind it being a non-autoimmune disease is not really known. So for the purpose of today's video, we're going to focus on diabetes type 1 as being an autoimmune disease. So now if you imagine that this is your pancreas, there's cells on the pancreas called beta cells. And what beta cells do is they produce a hormone called insulin. Now if this is your bloodstream, and this is a normal cell in your body, and this is the glucose in your bloodstream. The way that that glucose enters the cell is with the help of insulin. Insulin acts on the transcription and translation of glucose transporters that, trans that transport the glucose into the cell. Now, in someone that has diabetes type 1, what happens is that the cytotoxic cells and the macrophages and the autoantibodies act on the beta cells because they perceive the antigens on the beta cells as being foreign. So they attack the beta cells and you end up not having beta cells. So if you have no beta cells, then your body will not be able to produce insulin. And if you can't produce insulin, then your glucose can enter the cell. You end up with an increased amount of glucose in your bloodstream, which leads to hyperglycemia. Now, your beta cells produce another hormone called amylin. So, if you have diabetes type 1 and you don't have beta cells, not only can you not produce insulin, but you can't produce amylin either. There's another set of cells on the pancreas, and these are called your alpha cells. And alpha cells produce a hormone called glucagon. And what glucagon does is that if this is your liver, and the, this is the glycogen stores of your liver, glucagon acts on the glycogen stores to produce glucose. Now, what amylin does and insulin does is that they act on the, glu on the alpha cells to suppress the production of glucagon. But in a body that has no beta cells and that is not producing any amylin or insulin, there's nothing to suppress the glucagon, so you end up with an increased production in glucagon you have increased glucagon acting on your glycogen stores, you're going to have an increased production in glucose. So you're going to have more glucose in your bloodstream that's still not entering the cell, so it's going to further lend to the hyperglycemia, which is prevalent in type 1 diabetes. And that is the pathophysiology of type 1 diabetes.